Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, hi, folks. Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act 2. This is, as you can tell, this is uh, Art uh, Kirsch's and my, uh, what do we call it, Art? Co-founder's blog? Vlog. V vlog, video. Vlog. Video log, yeah. Um, anyway, I wanted to um, I, I take a serious moment uh, mm -hmm. with this blog this week. Um, because as we get older, of course, uh, we're going to have loved ones die on us and uh, passing. Uh, the older you get, the more people you're going to know in your life uh, mm -hmm. that leave our lives. And uh, it's always a very sad thing. But um, I think it's not necessarily a bad thing um, because it reminds us all that we are only here temporarily and uh, to make the best of it, which is what Celebrating Act Two is all about. Enjoy your life, uh, the second half of your life, experience the best stuff, do the best you can, and uh, that's why we're here to help you. But Art, the reason I bring this up is because I know your cousin Donnie uh, mm -hmm. passed a away very recently. Yeah. And you were very close. You played, am I correct, you played backgammon with him every week? Uh, pretty much every week for the last 25 years, if you call that yeah. some kind of period of time. Uh, so that, we want, that must, we, did that hit you very hard? Yeah, it did. Uh, so close I, to him. Actually, he's uh, more like a brother than a, a cousin. Um, when we were both young, uh, my folks owned a, a home and they rented a, a floor. So we grew up in the same house for eight to 10 wow. years. That's and uh, we've always remained close. Uh, uh, we, um, uh, he came to visit us once uh, after coming back from uh, several years in Hawaii, and he slept on a couch for six months. Uh, he sort of stayed, came, came for a couple of days well, and stayed for six months. I've got to tell you, that's closer than a brother, because <laughs> very few of us would let that. A brother sleep on the couch but, for three days. But he, he, he was a master craftsman. Uh, and so at the end, we, it was a smallish house. And he designed uh, uh, lifting our dormer and building three bedrooms for the kids upstairs. And then uh, just before he left, we spent about a month and a half uh, climbing all over the roof and tearing it down and building three yeah. bedrooms. So, uh, yeah, we, we were close. Uh, and the, the interesting relationship and, and you knew each other all your lives. All our lives. And for yeah. the last 25 years, basically, literally have met probably uh, well over 40 weeks a year. Uh, wow. We would meet just about every Saturday. Uh, we'd play a couple hours worth of backgammon. We must have played well over a thousand games. And we were pretty good at, at it and even. And probably after um, that period of time, if there was more than one game difference, win lose, it would be yeah. amazing. But in any event, uh, the reason um, uh, pro probably for our audience is when I was growing up, a lot of I remember a lot of my parents' uh, friends were dying in their fifties, and if somebody yeah, lived to be uh, sixty-five or sixty-eight, they were considered to live a long life. Uh, but today, yeah. uh, Don was seventy-two. Uh, my best friend in college passed away a week later. This is all in the last two weeks. Uh, Barry uh, Garlick, uh, we spent a ton of time together in college. We were in the same, uh, we didn't have fraternities, but we were in the same house plan. And uh, uh, the last summer, my parents were away on some kind of uh, uh, vis visiting, uh, learning kind of thing that my father did uh, as a principal of a school. And Barry and I basically bunked together for two months uh, on the way home, from taking summer sessions and both working. On the way home from school, we'd always get a sack full of white castles. Any white uh, West Coasters back there know what that is. And, uh, sliders, yeah. Yeah, sliders. And uh, uh, and you could get a couple of sackfuls. And you'd be lucky if you got home, if you were driving, <laughs> without finishing them off. But, uh, but Barry was the type of friend that, uh, uh, since I moved out to the West Coast, if we saw each other every... Uh, spoke to each other every couple of the years. Um, it would be a lot, but the kind of friendship that uh, you pick up the phone and it's like you just hung up yesterday sure. and continue, continue the conversation. I think uh, 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 Don and uh, his marriages had uh, uh, four children and 11 grandchildren, all of whom survived him, as well as his wife, who I happened to introduce him to uh, uh, way back when he was living with me. 
uh, sort of <laughs> staying with us. You did that just to get rid of him. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no. Uh, he was he he was ready. He had I think he had just moved out. But in any event, uh, uh, so the, the two of them together for thirty five years. Our sons, who are cousins, who never much knew each other growing up. Both are professional uh, in the uh, filmmaking commercial world. Uh, both very talented and. Uh, accidentally ran across each other and they become fast and furious friends and they, they're like their go-to guys so that's kind of nice. Um, Barry uh, had uh, I think three kids and blended all together maybe uh, uh, five grandchildren, three grandchildren, two great-grandchildren. Uh, so he's ahead of me there. So but but I guess what it comes down to is uh, he was a little older than me and Donnie a little younger but the uh, situation is that we're living longer, healthier lives, so that whatever happens, whenever people pass, um, it's uh, sad. Uh, but I found that there is no such thing as, well, they lived a good long life. Uh, everybody wants to live longer now, and you know what? With uh, a little bit of luck, we can do that. But it is sad. Also, earlier this year, somebody you know, because you did an interview, I did a documentary about him, but... Um, uh, Vince McCullough, my uh, 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 Tai Chi coach, died just past his uh, 90th uh, birthday. Yeah, and we were we were very close for the last 10 years because we knew each other and we got closer and closer. And uh, even uh, he and I and Linda and his wife would go out from time to time. They became uh, good friends because they were both knitting people and they were both teaching classes. So she took yeah. some of her exercise classes but yeah, you've also none of, us, you, none of us really know how long we're going to last right you know uh, and you I, you I'm actually really, you actually uh, have uh, somebody within your world that uh, you didn't know very well but uh who passed right. and and i know that it meant a lot to you uh, what, what that's right her? a first cousin a first cousin and it was very i was particularly saddened because i didn't really know she existed uh um, it's hard to explain, but my mother's family had nine brothers and sisters, and so they were spread out. Those nine brothers and sisters were spread out over a 20-year period. So you can imagine that the children of the oldest child, which is uh, one of the, she was the grandchild of the oldest child. Mm -hmm. My mother was the one of the younger children, and I'm her son. So even though there's that 20-year spread in brother to sister. The fact is that his, the older brother's children were way older than me, and her the, her granddaughter is almost my age. She, so she died at 58. I'm in my 70s. So there's a considerable difference there. But because of that gap, our particular families didn't really keep mm -hmm. in touch, and I'm I can't say that I didn't know she existed, but I almost didn't know. Uh, it's hard to explain. But essentially, there was. It, not only is it sad to hear of, of a relative passing, because you know all the family, mm. but I was particularly saddened the loss of somebody that I wish I had known. It's a different kind of loss. You know, you, you knew your cousin so well, um, you had 25 years with him, the last 25 years, I should right. say. You know, really close, close, right? Yeah. So here's the last 25 years. I didn't even know she existed, hmm. and that's that saddens me. That that makes me want to go find every relative who's connected anywhere and introduce myself and say, I don't know how we lost touch, uh, but I want to fix it. I hmm. want to get together with you. Um, even if it's only by Skype or email, and let's let's connect. Um, that's a different kind of loss than actually knowing somebody you personally loved and connected with. But it's still a very painful loss, and uh, makes me want to contact all my other relatives. Well, one, one kind of one kind of interesting thing uh, today, which we didn't have uh, back in the day that we were younger, is that there's a, a Facebook. For its, yes. for the good or evil, and well, uh, emails. And interestingly enough, that's how I heard of her passing. Mm. 
is so, a family Facebook page. So we can c keep in touch now. Yeah. Uh, our family happens to have a tradition, at least on my uh, mother, my mother's side, with four sisters and uh, the Rose family. Uh, Ava and Lily uh, Rose uh, were uh, had four daughters and uh, a, a gaggle of children and grandchildren. Uh, no, yeah. we're not Irish Catholic like your family, so it's not in the dozens. Well, you still got a gaggle. That's pretty good. Yeah, we, we got gaggles worth. It's a and, nice uh, Jewish gaggle, but it's a good gaggle. But the, uh, the uh, bulk of us get together and have been for the last 20 or 30 years uh, every summer uh, purportedly to uh, celebrate the birthdays of those kids who never got to celebrate in school because you were born well, we call it the August birthdays, but it was anybody who got robbed from mid-June till yeah. early September because you couldn't even get a cupcake in school because it wasn't yeah. your birthday. It's like being born on February 29th. Okay, that's what we should call it, the February 29th birthday parties yeah. in the summer. Sure. So we, we've been getting together uh, every year uh, Great excuse. For, for that, uh, an excuse to get together. And uh, we come from, uh, now not too far because most of us are on the West Coast, uh, yeah. but... Uh, but and we even have a few uh, people who qualified only because they've been around so long. They're like relatives, so yeah. they they get to come as well. Uh, but there is nothing. Uh, there the two sides of the coin are that uh, we're living longer, healthier lives. So when people now live to be seventy and eighty, and uh, my uh, my brother-in-law's brother of in his high eighties and sister and I think seventy-nine also passed in the last year. Uh, and you would say that those were, you know, they had long lives, but today uh, we're expecting today, people to live people not live forever. Over ninety on a regular yeah. basis, right? You know, and our grandchildren will probably live to be over a hundred for the most part. I would uh, think so, yeah. Over a hundred, so Un unless they, unless they are like me and they eat a lot of hamburgers, and that might kind of scotch the whole. Right, but then you're going to live to be two hundred, right? Oh, I'm because definitely moving to. Uh, well, you know, I had a doctor about ten years ago told me I'd never, I'd never last very long because of the way I eat. Mm. So he, we'll see. Is he? I, and I, he's I, gone I'm now. Bets. And he's gone now, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, doctors, I remember my that first doctor me. when I was a little kid, when I was uh, twelve, eleven, ten years old. Uh, what was his name? Doctor Klein. He smoked. You go to his office and. Yeah. You know, you'd have to wade through. But anyway, yeah. let's let, let's okay. not uh, uh, make too light of uh, a serious subject, which is uh, uh, there are uh, we we can, in my case celebrate uh, their lives. I'm better for having known them. I'm a great believer that we're sort of an accumulation of all the people we've ever met, but particularly of uh, close friends, uh, mm -hmm. which I consider uh, both uh, Don. He liked to be called Don, and in his uh, maybe for the last 30 years, but I know him as Donnie and uh, uh, Barry, and they have enriched my life, so, so I have that to go forward with. But it's a, it's a shame because whenever I got together with them, Donnie very often and Barry not as often, uh, we had a, I, I don't remember any bad times. Yeah, we discussed sometimes difficult situations, but it was always uh, friendship and love. So uh, if you have people like that in your life, wonderful embrace them and if you don't find some yeah and and you know what it's part of life death is part of life and uh it not only happens to all of us it happens to people around us and the people we love so you're right make the best of it enjoy them every day that's enough that's wisdom, enough for today think? yeah yeah today. yeah for more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.